Good morning all, CamelbackTrading.org, coming to you this Wednesday morning, September 4th. We are looking at Window Traders' market profile of the ES and the NQ. Look how mechanical the overnight so far has been. Look at the overnight high. It's basically a price probe, 44.75, and they opened up the overnight, got up to 41. NQ, price probe, 25.50, overnight open, got up to 06. Hasn't seen those levels since. We're 15 wide now towards yesterday's lows in ES. We are 18 wide below yesterday's lows in NQ. The weeklies are balanced. The dailies are down. Bears want to defend the base of the price probe. That's for sure. Okay? That's their line in the sand. Also, if we gap lower, would want to defend yesterday's low. The bulls would certainly like to defend the gap from the 15th, okay? That's a filled at 87.75 in ES, and in NQ's case, 7.65. We got into this gap yesterday in ES, right? Didn't fill it, though, obviously. NQ never did. NQ also has a poor low from the 13th of uh, August. Righty. They're also down on the daily now. <clears throat> Also, with a w very wide overnight pock. Remember, we all had trend days yesterday. Triple distribution for all three of us. So, the volume was only $60 million in SPY. But the Bears are trying after Bulls failed countless times in ES at this balance high. Look at this failure up here. Now, took out the balance low on the daily. Put the weekly back into balance, so the ball is in their court to see how much they want to take out. It all remains to be seen. As far as the game plan, defending yesterday's low uh, would be meaningless to me. There's nothing really to defend there if you're a bull for the most part. Defending the overnight low and the gap fill would be more um, enticing. And for the bears, defending the overnight high and certainly the base of the price probe, which would keep value certainly lower on the day so right here no game plan however if you start getting near any of these overnights in the next seven uh you know come 9 30 you can take that play now again taking a long down here would certainly be with lower value in both es and in nq um in nq's case you could use below the poor low as you're out in es's case you would use only a point total you're not going to take the heat down to the gap fill Again, it's not 9.15. We are speaking about all these scenarios live in our trading room. Um, and then while this profile is being live streamed. And then here's the daily. Finally came out of a 10-day balance to the downside. We are sitting in SPY um, right at, where is the 20-day moving average? 549.15. So um, we ra uh, rallied off of it. We'll see. If we go and test both the 20 and the 50 in the coming days. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing to this channel. Good luck trading today. And we'll recap at 4 p.m.